All right, I made it across the track here. Got some switches. Looks so like we got a old line that ran through here on this side as well. That part of it over here uh, buried. Over here, I believe they still use the these lines for um, all day. Sorry, there's somebody passing. For holiday trains, Christmas specials, and stuff like that. Riding with Santa Claus. Um, they used to do day out with Thomas down here. Don't know if they still do though. Uh, here we go. We actually got two diesels down here. I feel pretty comfortable staying this close to these tracks just because. Most of the time, they aren't using them. When they do, it's for special occasions. So here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Nickel Plate Road. This is a 901. Looks like a New York City and St. Louis. This one's a Conrail. Couple together. So here we have uh, some old wheels. <laughs> Cross over here, do the oil. Cross the tracks and we'll go down this side of it. Up, up close and personal here. She looks to be in working order, but she hasn't moved in a while. You can tell on the rust on the tracks how much oil, fresh oil there is down here. But she seems to be in working order. Fuel cap's new. Her paint's relatively new. A lot of uh, oil here on the grounds. A little bit better look at this. Same thing with this one. She's a little bit more weathered than the uh, Conrail, but still appears to be in working order. Her paint looks a bit, uh, newer than uh, the Conrails, though. Beautiful color with this red and uh, red. There it is. It's black and yellow. It's all red car pass. I was like, ooh, red. Yeah, she's a she's a beaut, all right. 901. So if we go back across the uh, rails here. Oh, whoa. cross back across the tracks and. Uh, Here's that old track I was talking about. Must be out of use down there. Down there's a little bridge. Use my hat to point. No, let's see if we can <clears throat> get across this road without being hit this time. I wasn't before, but you have to take the chances lightly. 
But um, this is Lebanon, Ohio. I believe this was the B&O Railroad line uh, back in the day when it was first put in. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But over here we have the old station. And they keep this train here for special events. Uh, it does work. Uh, however, it does sit here for a museum piece. And because it's a dead end line, past the uh, down there towards the uh, there's an old uh, antique uh, factory down there. Here's a better look at the switches. A little American lock on there. Century Power Looks like it was last replaced in 2001. At least that's the casting mark on it. So we can, we'll see if we can get back across this road here. So I'm gonna have an easier time getting back across than I did crossing the first time. All right. <laughs> have that little jog. So this one's a uh, Chesapeake, Ohio. I believe it's her original uh, livery for the Chesapeake, Ohio Railway. There's her bell. And she's also in working order. They do use this one for uh, special events and holiday reasons. There's the chalk down there. And she's a couple to some coaches. We'll wait over here with this uh, family pass. But no, where this is uh, Lebanon, Ohio. That log cabin over there was built 1795. One of the original buildings here in uh, Warren County. And this is the uh, old. Uh, train station. This is a now the Lebanon station, Lebanon Council of Garden Clubs. Beautiful garden. I would hope so at least. So here we got a uh, couple things back to the uh, passenger car. Oh, uh, hello. And the cars are freshly oiled as well. The paint was done, I believe, three years ago. I think they're done every three years or so. But it's a burgundy red with yellow pinstripe on the bottom and the top and a black roof. Kind of the classic American style of coaches. Uh, this is part of the Cincinnati Scenic Railways, if I was wondering. I believe this is her original, the original coating as well. Jacking pad there underneath. Again, freshly oiled, um, relatively speaking. The old point box, I believe, the controllers, for the switches, switch box, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm really good at this, as you can tell. 
Yeah, I believe she has five uh, five coaches on her. Uh, all part of the Cincinnati Scenic Railway. The LMN A L M N M Railroad. North the Pole Express. Done every uh every uh year in the winter, Christmas. Here's an older coach. She has an air horn on her. Um, it's a little bit older, but uh, this one's out of Mason, Ohio, I believe. Uh, it's just a little bit lower class. Uh, but it is part of the Cincinnati Scenic Railroad. And also in working order as per the other ones. These are a little, a little bit more beat up because it's a little bit older. So, and then uh, some names written in here. Shout out to Ashley, Nate, X and J, whoever you are. This one's out of Turtle Creek, Ohio. And this one's number is 103. Then we'll get across the road here and get back to this, uh, I believe it's a, Is this a army truck? Army hospital transport. The old gas station here. This would be here. It's a old shell pumps. I'm just looking at the trains. And this is a little museum here. Out of the, uh, here we go, ambulance kitchen car. Quinn City Tavern. And um, yeah, this one's an older model as well. Looks like they're using these for some kind of storage or maybe like a museum type. There's the old uh, antique mall for Lebanon. Looks like it's about to be torn down. It's a shame. It's a beautiful building. This one's a Mingo County. C R C one four nine or one. That's Charlie Romeo Charlie one four nine or one. And then there's all caboose they have on display. Everybody gets their picture taken with these. If you haven't, you haven't lived. And it looks like there's some old switch towers here. As well, as well as some other bits and bobs of scrap metal, and then this one's a Milwaukee, the Ma Milwaukee Road, Charlie Romeo, Charlie three two zero zero, out of Montgomery County, Ohio. That's where Dayton, Ohio, is located. <clears throat> and.
and I believe this is also her original color scheme. It's a burgundy red with a light orange with a eggshell stripe down the bottom with a black roof. My phone's not the best of quality, so it's an Android, go figure. <laughs> and back here, it looks like we have a storage wagon, cargo, stuff like that. We've all seen box cars before, but this is a older box car. She's also a Charlie Romeo Charlie 1376. And she's a boxcar. Again, as per all the other ones, working order, yada yada. <laughs> Freshly oiled, oil on the tracks. And then back here we have a caboose. I'm gonna show you these are actually working order. Class tested in April the 5th of this year. So we have the hand handbrake on this one. Wait to the lawnmower gets a little bit away. And we have a DTI. It's Delta Tango Ida. 116. So and these are the what's left of the buffers. I believe the track used to carry on down that way for a while. But I'm not quite sure on that. I have to check that again. But yeah, there's been the Reven Lebanon Railway uh, in Lebanon, Ohio. These trains are usually always on display unless they are being used or the stock is being rotated out. I believe these are just the wrong stocks. Uh, for passenger trains. Ohio doesn't do many trip passenger trains, only out of Cincinnati and Cleveland and Columbus, I believe. Uh, even then, it's mostly Amtrak's. Um, but they use these for special occasions. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.